And welcome to part three of episode two of uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Hello, all you beautiful people. You know, from up here, Pandora's kind of pretty, don't you think? Not really. I mean, you know, with the reflections on the water and everything, you can't even smell all the animal carcasses. Nice, huh? Are you nuts? Everything down there wants to kill us. Valid. Look at this. Everything looks abandoned, man. How does that? How does? How does this look nice? Looks like shit. Looks like butt cheeks. Love how there's no one around. Not to Did be a downer, but I'm not seeing any Atlas facility. We're sure this is the right spot. All right, guys. Sure, it's not a fancy resort town, but. We're not here for a day at the spa. We're looking for a top secret military facility. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Pretty sure I can figure this out. Did we make a mistake? Were we not supposed to come here? What's this grid on the bottom here? What are we looking at here? What is this? Well, what is this? Let's scan this first. Mushrooms taste cotton candy. Serious. What? How do mushrooms taste like uh, cotton candy? Anyway, poison level like the worst. Pandora's tastiest and deadliest mushroom. This odd combination has led to a speculation that they are the creation of a botanist with a deadly sense of humor. Interesting. Wait, what is this? Power lines, manufacturer atlas, model out to one. Looks like we're onto something. What is up with all these redacted words, man? Hmm, curiouser and curiouser. So I guess we're following the grid. Hey guys, guys, come check this out. It's like the whole grid leads right to here. I mean, with all these power lines everywhere, they've, they've got to be connected to something, right? Let us see what we have here. Power Junction Atlas to Zeus Kilowatt. What? Status functional old havens. Power grid is surprisingly active considering the town's abandoned nature. Classic wasteful Atlas behavior. Ha <laughs> Here we go. to something hey that sounds good right good sound you keep hacking I'll go check on Loderbot easy enough where's Loderbot here's another power station excess <laughs> found another one Oh, couldn't have left me a ladder, could you? Typical Atlas. So, how are we gonna get up there? Clearly not through there. What was that? A big ass rat. Did you guys see that? Let's check up on Loaderbot. Hi. Hey, pal. Yo! How you holding up there, man? All things considered, I'm actually... Not terrible. That's great. I mean, for for you, that's that's great. Thanks for that. So, what do you think's actually inside a vault? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's like whatever you say you want suddenly appears. Yeah, but what if right when you get your wish, you like trip on a rock and you're like, oh crap. Okay, my wish is to not go into a vault with you. <laughs> This is a nightmare. Could be worse. There could be zombie bandits hiding in the shadows. Yeah, I guess there's that. Don't say anything. I don't tell you often enough, bro, but thanks for your help. You're welcome, man. You're the best, man. I, I mean that. Stop. That bromance. You know where to find me. 
A bromance is a brewing. Now, how do we get up there to this power box? Why can't we run? Wait, what is this? Let's pull the billboard, see what happens. Uh, clearly some exposed wiring. Let's. C I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to connect those uh, those wires that were, what do you call it, cut. Or maybe not. Reattach what? Yep. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Let's see what that does. We have progress. I feel like I didn't really do anything, right? Anyways, keep using Echo to find blah blah blah. Was there another one around here? Wait, what was that? Nope. Anyway, let's just get the one we know about. Let's find a way up. Clearly we could use this, right? What's about in there? All doll was good for, am I right? <laughs> what? And get up on here. We have progress, boys. Or maybe not. We need to find this guy some shoes, man. Upper Billy on my sock. No, it's all. We got to get him some new socks. We got to get him some shoes. Get slapped. Nice billboard. All right, let's do this. Blah blah blah. Access. <laughs> Found another one. And nothing. Really? Huh. Maybe I wired something up wrong. So, clearly we need to find either one more or the one that we hit prior to we put in, we, we uh, reattach the wire in the wrong slot. So I guess first we'll try this. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Discoloration. We'll check that out in a second. Let me see this. Come on. Let's see. Reattach it to here. This? Nope, still halfway, huh? Well, maybe I wired something up wrong. Alright, in that case, let's try the very last slot. I'm pretty sure it's not it, but maybe it is, we'll see. Unless we could. Uh, I thought we could maybe detach that wire, like the base. Let's see if this does anything, shall we? There it is. So it was the fourth one. And there. Thumbs up. I'm loving Loaderbot. Favorite character so far. How the hell did they manage to hide this? Look how big this is! Atlas. Oh, we're in there, boys. It's already opened up and everything. Underground hidden doors! <laughs> Atlas, man! Come on, let's check this out. Well, well, well. Mr. Ten Million Dollars. Oh, this does not look good. Miss me? Are you done? Sure, I mean... Are you done? No, because... because <laughs> You see, then, then what we wanted to do... We, we, we uh, just... Yeah, yeah, I'm done. So anyway, while they were off blowing it, we ran into some complications of our own. 
And here we are. I love how it just like switches between stories and it just fills in the gaps. She better have hang, uh, hung on to the shoe, right? She better have kept it and saved it for us. How the hell did the vehicle make it all the way there with no back wheels, just a front? Oh, I can't believe we made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out, probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. Oh, they'll be alright. In the heat? Should have picked the other option. Bags? I'm not so sure. They probably called for help and had someone pick them up. Yeah, probably. With a caravan like this, we couldn't help them if we wanted to. I hope he'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. What do you mean? We have How like 300 bucks. I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. Use the oh, womanly please. charm. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. We're pretty much screwed. She's gonna say the wrong thing and it's all gonna go terribly wrong. Oh, look at all the stuff we can look at. Let's start here. Turn this off. We don't want to hear that. We want to make sure we hear everything around, right? We want to be able to hear a pin drop 10 meters away just in case. Pin up calendar. Ugh. Does every mechanic have to be gross? <laughs> Bossa Nova's. The races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossa Nova. Wait, what's this? Nothing. Scooter must have connections at Dalcorp. Can we use this? Nope, never mind. Loot container? What do you have in here? Like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. I carry the three to five by twelve. Oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man. Welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? Scooter loves cars, women, and cars in that order. Uh -huh. Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you <laughs> know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is surprisingly difficult. Haven't seen this much paperwork since my aunt cousin tried to marry my brother, uncle, and she sued him at the... My rides. Trash. Did you guys read... Did you you help me out? <laughs> what? Oh, crap, That's man. some that serious incest. Not too good. At least I'm assuming it wasn't designed with that whole, uh, you know, hull thing in the, in the side there. Can you fix it? Hey, man, that's what the sign says I do, don't it? No, seriously, does it? I can't, I can't remember what I put on the new billboard. Point is, I can fix her up for you, yeah? <laughs> Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Boston over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man! You see me? I was, I was waving. You were a badass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, got me. That He's a fan. The hell and back, man. I could fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about twenty five hundred cold. Twenty five hundred. Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Where did it all go? Right. He said oh yeah, we got robbed. Neighbor's husband won one of them races one time, and the cats kept them fed for weeks. 
course, those days they were mostly, you, you know, the, the money. But, but still, it was weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you completely that? forgot yes, we got I betrayed? Can. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. You'd Sweeten the deal. Huge we got to get more out of them. Got to milk an it. Extra thousand bucks, and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Ah. Uh, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride. You know it. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. <laughs> I hear how you do the catchphrase. We're in sellout mode. Sellout mode, boys. Catch a ride. Mm, okay, okay. Thousand bucks. It's yours, but you're going to have to win like... Crap load of races, all right? I made a money, man. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with like catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass. You to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, scooter, right? <laughs> He's in love. Everything going okay? <laughs> I was uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork. Let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man. Here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it free. Maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. I know it's Let's see. Thing. What can you we get here? Iron blunderbuss. Wait, what's too? the most expensive here? Sometimes I just stand here and, and stare at them, you know? What? I love how we're forty dollars shy for the scooter that special. That sucks. Hell, man. Bonus Take cup holders. Sleek a tube. Flux man, capacity. Right Shock vat. Ooh. Which one do we go for? Right. Hotness twenty percent. Chance to ignite seventeen point nine percent. Definitely don't want that. Uh, Mustache length two hundred percent. Cylinders him, plus four. Or that just me licking spark plugs again. All right. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna go with. We're just gonna go with the yellow one, right? Keep it nice. Keep it nice and yellow. That's how we do it. For a thousand bucks, let's do it. That is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself and for me. Getting to do it. Can't wait. I mean, pretty much using his own money, right? That he gave us. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. How, I wonder how much uh, that was for. I wonder how much the reward is. Get ready okay, to run. Listen, if things go sour, get ready to run. I'll be right behind you. I'll take the high ground, you cover the back end. Only if it comes to it. I guess he didn't sell us out. Took one for the team. Good I'll job, Scooter. You. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Just all part of the service when you catch a <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Why'd you do that? Hey, man, you two are my customers and seem like nice folks. If you got people after you, that ain't none of my business, but I ain't gonna be the one to turn you in. What if they tried to kill you? 
then it'd just be another day that ends in Y. Ha <laughs> ha. Cause the days in it, why? But seriously, folks, trying to kill me ain't that new. I'm used to it. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you too, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? Who's Felix? We're about to find out. I don't think Felix is as too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it. Ha have we been introduced to Felix already? Why do why does why is that not like triggering anything in my head? I guess we're gonna find out. Reward upon delivery. Purple skag bar hollow point. I wanna know what the reward is, man. Wait, who was that? 